All right, guys, total accounts. What I want to talk about total accounts is you want to show open active accounts. Why is that? Because that's showing current activity on your credit report, and that currently is going to influence and or update your credit score because you have active things on your credit file. Now, when you look, you're going to see I have 22 open accounts. Now, when you look at the scale, it tells you, they say that this is a low impact, which it is a lower impact, but I'm going to say having more open accounts has a high impact because of utilization factors and payment history factors. Plus, it also helps with the average age of credit history. But if you look, you can see there's my mortgage, 350000 my car, which is a $16,000 balance, Raymore and Flanagan, $9,500, and then you're going to see my credit cards. Now, what you will not notice here is the difference between charge cards and credit cards. If you look here, this is a charge card. How do I know? If you look right there, kind of in the middle, it says credit limit. It doesn't indicate, but there's a balance of $1,597. Now, what I could do is I could go into my American Express uh, portal right now or my app on my phone, and I could show you that that balance currently is only $400. I paid off the $1,500 because again, it's a charge card. I don't have a choice. I paid the $1,597. My balance is now only reflecting $400, but it's not showing on my credit file yet because it takes somewhere between 30 to 45 days for everything to update. But you can see, and as I told you back in January of 2018, or yeah, 2018, that's when I got this credit card. And so you're seeing the payment history. That's when I started really diving into credit. That's when I invested into credit. And now I get to show you guys everything that I've learned. So that's that balance there. This is another card here, credit limit. This is the gold card, $798. That balance is lower than that as well, but it's okay. You see that. Now if I go to another American Express credit card, let's look at this one. This is a credit card that has a $20,000 limit. So if you look at this, this does indicate credit limit, $20,000, balance 211. Guys, that's 1% utilization. That is ideal. Not only is it an open account, it's showing current payment history and all my payments are on time. And that's the beautiful part. What you also wanna make sure, guys, is with these total open accounts, you're gonna see some accounts down here that don't have balances on them, like this Barclays card. Now, this one here, I just opened up, uh, this was my Uber card. And I love this card because I have over a hundred plus dollars in free Uber credits because I use the card for you know a good number of times. Obviously, I spent a couple bucks the first three months, which is the open window that you always have to hit. But then after that, I use it periodically. Now the point is, guys, you always want to use your cards. Now the only one I can't use is the one from my dad, which was 1996. But Discover card, I use that card periodically. This card actually has rotating categories, so for one quarter. Supermarkets may give me 5% cash back. The next quarter, dining may give me 5% cash back. The next quarter, it could be warehouse stores like Sam's Club or Costco. The point is this, guys. If you wanna keep your accounts open, you wanna use the card maybe once or twice a year. You do not have to spend a lot of money on the account. You just have to show credit activity. And the best thing to do is in situations like this, if you want to change your cards once a month or once a quarter, put a different card in your wallet. Just use it once or twice. And again, you do not have to wait until the end of the month when the bill is due. You can pay the card every two weeks. Now, it may not show a, a, any utilization on your credit file by the time it gets to the bureau, which is fine. The credit card company is going to know that you use the card. So you're still going to get credit and payment history for that account. And that's what's so important. But as you'll see, guys, all my accounts, they have low balances or no balances. They're all paid. This was one of my first American Express cards. They only gave me a $3,000 limit. Now, some of the cards, I've increased the limit over the course of time. Like I have an American Express card. I'm going to see if I can find it quickly. I have an American Express card with a $10,000 limit. It's not that one. The, what happened was over the course of time, as I was using the card, I started to put more credit limit on the card. How? After six months of on-time payment history, and it used to be three months, now American Express has changed it. After six months of on-time payment history, they will allow you to increase the limit on the card. This should be it right here. Okay, this $10,000, this card limit, this is my American Express everyday card. I started off with this card. They gave me a $3,000 limit. Went from 3,000 to 5,000, from 5,000 to 10,000. Now, as you guys can see, I only got this card in May or June of last year. So in one year's time, 
Because of being on time and responsible, they took me from $3,000 up to $10,000. You have to show you're worth it, guys. You have to show you're worthy. You have to show that you're responsible and you have to make on time payments. Again, what they wanna see is that you use credit responsibly and they wanna see that you have open accounts, that you can manage open accounts. And that's what's the best part about this is Credit Karma tells you everything you need to see. Now, what's closed? Citadel, that was my old car. Toyota Motor Credit, that was my old lease. Tri-County area, that was my car before that. Thankfully, I don't have any student loans that show or reflect. They were from a long time ago. But you can see the only accounts that I have closed are my car notes. And this is why, again, I reflect and tell people it is so important for you to have credit card accounts open and in good standing because as long as you keep that account open and in good standing, that account will never close. So think about that from a credit history standpoint. If you've had a card for five years, it's going to continue to give you that credit history and it's going to influence your age of credit history, which is 15% of your credit score. That's why it's extremely important to have open accounts. Do you have to have 22 of them? No, that's a choice that I've decided to make and I've stayed committed to and I'm extremely disciplined. When I tell you every single day I check my scores, I do. Every single week, I check all of my credit card balances just to make sure, did an annual fee hit? Did I have something on auto pay that it charged the card and I forgot? Maybe it's a card I don't use a whole lot. These are all things that I do to manage my scores on a daily basis and you'll see here the same. This is 21 open accounts. My dad's card doesn't show on this. You see all closed accounts, Barclays. Uh, so that's actually the credit card of my dad's. That's interesting. This shows closed on here when I think the account's still open. But the point is this, guys. You want to have multiple open accounts. It shows that you can manage your finances. The more accounts you have, the more payment history, the more credit cards you have, the higher the limits or the more total limit, the lower the utilization. That's why all of these really matter when it comes to building, boosting, and managing a good credit score. Now I'm going to come out of this. We're going to talk about the last credit factor, which, is our, which are the inquiries. You're going to see I have a lot here. I'll explain to you why in a couple minutes.